Hi guys. Well, it has actually turned into a pleasant fall day here finally, uh, late in the afternoon of Tuesday, October 18, 2022. So I am plowing ahead with a new experimental format where I'm just touching a several different articles instead of digging down for 30 minutes into one article that people listen to for about five minutes. Uh, it is Tuesday, October 18, 2022, and uh, the battery light flashing collapse is imminent. So uh, again, uh, I would like to read this full article. I want to thank Lieutenant Tom Ensalada for sending this one to me to get all of the uh, vegans' panties in a wad. This, uh, again, I'm going to put the link on here, and if you want to uh, find out more about this fascinating new research, uh, you can go on and read it yourself, but I will just touch on it, and the camera will probably collapse. So this is coming out uh, brand new from Science Alerts. Ancient humans were apex predators for two million years, study finds. Paleolithic cuisine was anything but lean and green. According to a new study on the diets of our Pleistocene era ancestors, for a good two million years, Homo sapiens and their ancestors ditched the salad and dined heavily on meat, putting them at the top of the food chain, where we still are today. It's not quite the balanced diet of berries, grains, and steak we might picture when we think of paleo food, but according to a study by anthropologists from Israel's Tel Aviv University and the University in Portugal, modern hunter-gatherers have given us the wrong impression of what we once ate. Um, quoting the study, which was actually uh, from last year, but I guess just making it to science alert, quote, this comparison is futile because two million years ago, hunter-gatherer societies could hunt and consume elephants and other large animals, while today's hunter-gatherers do not have access to such bounty, research Miki Bondor uh, explained. Uh, a look through hundreds of previous studies uh, suggests we were primarily apex predators, meaning uh, the main part of our diet was meat, most of it coming from these megafauna that humans killed uh, in the, quote, overkill hypothesis as much as a, uh, a, you know, throwing cold water uh, on this BS that humans are, are natural vegetarians uh, when, when we've been meat eaters for two million years. Uh, the, the other thing, running throughout this story, although they don't talk about it, is that this is just more research proving the overkill hypothesis. Uh, what do you think killed all these big animals? Could it be humans? And then they, uh, they break it all down as how we can find ample evidence of game hunting in the fossil record. Uh, but, you know, so what they're talking about is, uh, in, 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 anyway, one of the main reasons we stopped uh, eating meat 
uh, you know, these big animals is because we killed all the big animals. And we didn't have any, uh, we didn't have any megafauna left to eat. That uh, we changed that humans everywhere they went uh, destroyed the entire ecosystems of everywhere they went to. So, uh, you, you know, they, they killed uh, all of those slow-moving, slow-reproducing megafauna. Uh, and uh, eventually, we killed everything. There was nothing left to eat. So, we had to start, uh, you know, planting plants. We, we had to invent uh, plant-based agriculture. because Otherwise, we, we would have starved to death. The reason uh, that we invented agriculture is because we were so good at killing everything. Uh, this, uh, I, I have no problem uh, with this overkill hypothesis. It, 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 there's no hypothesis about it. It is a cut and dried statement of fact uh, for anyone uh, not buying into the myth of the noble savage. It's these defenders of the myth of the noble savage, for whatever reason, are not going to admit that Pleistocene era cavemen uh, were very capable of, uh, of hunting mastodons and giant sloths and all the rest of them. It's open and shut. Uh, more evidence. Uh, anyway, uh, but all of this talk about uh, being an apex predator is making me hungry, and I think I have one of my factory farmed fellow earthlings simmering in the crock pot. And. Uh, I need to go uh, practice being an apex predator while I still can. But at least I'm cooking my fellow earthling with some of my organic potatoes that I grew here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I guess I got something out of humans killing uh, all of our big fellow earthlings. I owe my potatoes to that. Anyway, get out there and enjoy being an apex predator while you still can. We'll be back with more snippets of the collapse tomorrow. Bye, guys.